Hey, do you see that? I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. Hold on, I'm gonna fuck with my eye holes. Oh, I made it worse. Who specked that fucking thing? I don't know, some boy in skinny jeans with a reputable brand and exceptional customer service? Hey, we gotta go, come on. Oh, hell, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, shit. What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin with Custom Night Vision. We're out here to discuss some big news in the night vision industry. If you're watching this video, you're probably aware that there is a very popular large firearms accessory dealer that just announced they're getting into the night vision industry. They're gonna start selling night vision and they've taken kind of a, I would say an antiquated approach to selling night vision. And we're gonna kind of address some of this in this video. Um, at Custom Night Vision, we built this business around transparency for the customer in night vision purchases. It's the whole reason we're in this business. It is our business model. So we felt it incumbent upon us to kind of talk about the importance of things like transparency when buying a night vision device. It is a large purchase and we feel like it is a very large added value to the customer to provide things like images through the intensifier tubes and a full breakdown of what's on your data sheet before you make that purchase. Uh, at Custom Night Vision, we typically receive shipments of intensifier tubes in quantities of 300 all the way to 1,000 at a time. This really affords us the ability and experience to speak on these matters. Receiving quantities of tubes that large is not really a common thing in the private sector. There are very few dealers in the industry that buy tubes in such quantities. So we feel like we have a justified position in sharing our opinion. As many of you may know, all intensifier tubes are different. Uh, they're inherently different. They all look a little bit different, perform a little bit different, and the variance in performance on a data sheet in a given batch of tubes can vary widely, especially with the commercial um, comspec tubes, if you will. Intensifier tubes are typically bought in large batches or quantities, um, you know, depending on the, the distributor or um, retailer, these quantities can vary from 10, like I said, to 1,000. Quality of those tubes varies vastly, but the price of the tube is usually the same. So the way a vendor would negotiate the procurement of a large quantity of tubes would based, be based on a per tube price. A lot of part numbers from manufacturer, manufacturers will have a guaranteed set of specifications, be it you know, a minimum FOM rating, a maximum EBI, et cetera, et cetera. There are many night vision dealers in the industry that sell night vision devices kind of in the same manner with all they're going to provide you is a minimum uh, performance metric, be it FOM or a maximum EBI. This provides them with a lot of flexibility to keep your expectations relatively low and gives them a lot of leeway for customers that may not be happy with the device that shows up at their door. I'll give you an example. Let's say someone pays $3,800 for this PBS-14 with an Elbit tube in it. What Elbit tube is in it? I'm not sure. Is it an XLSH? Is it a PH? Is it an SLH? Is it, is it a YH? There are many different part numbers that Elbit sells their distributors. First and foremost, that should be made apparent from the beginning. But if two customers were to buy these two PBS-14s, and I know for a fact what each one of these tubes looks like and what the data sheet looks like. If they were to pay the same amount and they lived next door to each other and they met in their front yard in the middle of the night and compared their tubes and their data sheets, one of those guys might be pretty upset because one of these tubes is a 2900 FOM low EBI tube that's completely clean. The other one is an 1800 FOM 2.2 EBI tube that has three spots in zone two. These tubes came out of the same batch. They cost us the same amount of money. Custom Night Vision is of the belief that just because we pay the same amount of money for these tubes doesn't mean that, that they are worth the same amount of money to you, the end user, because one is clearly better than the other. This brings us to kind of the crux of the issue when we're discussing how a lot of people try to sell Night Vision. Data sheets are not queer. Tube images, not queer because they are different. Every one of them is different. 
Intensifier tubes are a lot like diamonds. When you go shop for diamonds, you're going to choose from a lot, uh, a large variance of stones, essentially. And all of those stones come with uh, essentially a report that gives you all of the specifics on the stones. You know, they have different grades and they will call out inclusions in the stone. This is very similar to an intensifier tube where they call out a series of different metrics, their performance therein. And if there's any blims or uh, inclusions in the tube, they typically will be called out. This is manufacturer dependent. That being said, if you are going to go out and shop around for the nicest product or the nicest stone that you can find that fits within your budgetary constraint, why is night vision any different? It's not. It's still your money and you want to get the most for your money. And that's really why custom night vision does business the way we have chosen to do business. We don't have to do it this way. We can compete with all the other companies that just sell, hey, we've got PVS 14s that are all 2376 plus. Uh, when you order one, I'm just going to pull the next one off the rack. You get what you get. Beyond a minimum FOM rating, there is no guarantee on customer satisfaction. Many night vision dealers have constructed a, a narrative, if you will, that fits their ability or their propensity to uh, firstly procure intensifiers or night vision components, as well as their um, ability to deliver transparency and service on the front end, uh, i.e. before the sale is made. It's a lot of work to take a tray of tubes, you know, be it 10, 20, 50, 100, take pictures of all those uh, individual tubes, and then take everything off the data sheet and put it into a format that's palatable for someone to read on a website. It is a large investment in time, and it gives, I think a lot of night vision dealers are worried about getting stuck with tubes that fall below expectations. If you price them differently, some people, and, and I will concede that even low spec tubes will get the job done. You don't need to have the highest spec tube to see in the dark and operate like an operator operationally. You would be fine with, you know, an Omni 4 green tube that's got 100,000 hours out on it out of some Anvis 6s. Those work just fine, but there is a difference in quality that really needs to be appreciated. On a daily basis, I tell customers that buying night vision or buying intensifier tubes is less similar to buying an iPhone, a homogenous product, indistinguishable from one skew to the next, and it is more similar to buying, again, a diamond. They are all unique, and you should be aware of that if you're going to spend your money. In the next segment of this video, we're going to compare these three PBS-14s. These are all assembled with Elbit tubes, and they have a wide range of performance values uh, as seen on their data sheets and we will talk about this a little bit as we review them or compare them and they have a variance in cosmetic cleanliness all these tubes again came out of the same batch cost us the same amount of money these pvs 14s are listed on our website currently with different prices associated to their value we've got our uh, first Contestant rigged up here on our uh, it's a Sony FX3 with a, I don't remember what the night vision adapter, uh, who, uh, Mod Armory, that's the company. Uh, on a 50 millimeter, um, this is the lowest spec tube I selected. I can't show you this data sheet because the federal government says that I can't, so that's a good indicator that it is in fact not queer. Uh, I can only assume that the government wants us to see as much queer stuff as possible. So, but they don't want you to see this, so I'm going to keep it secret. I'm just going to read it to you because that's okay. Um, at any rate, this is a an, an Elbit white phosphor tube. Obviously, um, it has a signal to noise signal to noise ratio of 30.7, and it's 64 line pair with a 1.48 EBI. Not terrible. It's just the really the worst one I could find in the pinch. Um, Looking through the viewfinder, I can see that it is not picking up on the blims in this tube. There are two significant blims in between zone two and zone three, but because of the lens that we're using, it's kind of cropping the image um, that we're receiving through the eyepiece. But 
now that I'm looking through the viewfinder, I, I can see one of the blims kind of at uh, three o'clock. Yeah, I see it there. Um, at any rate, I can see that the tube is struggling a little bit. It's not, I guess, what, what are the lighting conditions out here? We've got a little bit of moonlight. It's a little overcast, but we have a studio light behind me that is illuminating me. And that is, with night vision, that provides a lot of uh, illumination for the tube, even though we're focused, you know, at infinity downrange, three or 400 yards. Um, it, it's helping this tube out a lot, but I still see a lot of scintillation. It's very grainy. It's not the worst I've seen, but the tube is, is starting to struggle a little bit. It is at max gain, but this is a good uh, a base to compare the other two to. So we're going to take this one off, put the next unit on, um, and we will reconvene. Okay, we've got the second tube rigged up on the same camera with the exact same settings. This tube looks a little bit, I'm not gonna say better, it's different. Uh, this image intensifier has a signal to noise that's actually lower. It's a uh, 27.8, but it has a center rev resolution of 72 line pair. So I see a little bit more scintillation, but I see a little bit, I see a little bit better image clarity in the center. Um, so what I'm seeing through the camera, you know, matches with what's on the data sheet. And I see a, uh, the data sheet shows a 1.17 EBI, so slightly lower EBI. Um, I'm not quoting the halo numbers because on LBID and even L3 tubes, they're all really close to the same. Um, I don't think most of the time it makes an appreciable difference, but you know, some people get really obsessed about those halo numbers. At any rate, this t tube looks, I mean, it would really depend on who's looking through it. Uh, some people may think it looks better. Some people may think it looks worse. I mean, it's 2000 FOM right on the button and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, this would meet most people's expectations. It is in fact a cleaner tube. Again, this image is cropped, so we don't see edge to edge. It does have some, I don't know if it's really a blim, but with these Elbit tubes, sometimes we'll get imperfections around the outside like streaks or it kind of looks like scratches where the actual uh, photocathode meets the outside of the tube body. Uh, but yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Not that much different than the other one, but it is again, a little different. We're gonna take this one off and put the last one on there and see how that one stacks up. All right, we've got the last PVS 14 set up on the camera here. Um, I can tell right away that image clarity, a lot less noise, a lot better center resolution. Be advised that it's gonna be really hard. We're doing our best to translate what we see with our eyes uh, into this camera, to put it into a format that you can see at home but just know that the camera is doing a lot of work to make these images more similar. So take it with a grain of salt. This is about is the best we can do. Believe it or not, uh, images through cell phones are actually, I would say almost preferable. So consider that when um, making your purchases based off pictures. At Custom Night Vision, we take all of our intensifier tubes actually with a, an iPhone um, on purpose. That's we do that on purpose. This tube, um, start with the SNR, has an SNR of 35.6, so substantially higher than the other two. And it has a center resolution of 81 line pair. Um, it does have a pretty high EBI. Well, I'm not gonna say pretty high, but a higher EBI of 1.66. It's not that hot out here. I don't really think that EBI is a extremely critical component, but it is a component. Um, a long time ago, people said that if you don't have an EBI below one, your tubes are trash. That is not true. Anything under 2.5 is mil spec and, and more than acceptable in my opinion, but you know, take that for what it's worth. Again, uh, I'm looking through the viewfinder and yeah, I mean, this tube is noticeably better. We checked all these with our eyes, compared them side by side before we put them on the camera and I can tell that this tube is in fact doing a better job. Uh, again, these all came right out of the same batch. 
So, oh, and this, this tube is perfectly clean. There are no uh, aberrations around the edge. There's no blims, no anything. The tube is crystal clear from edge to edge. And it is, you know, 2,883.6 foam. So pretty high spec. At any rate, I hope this translates well to wherever you're watching this, your phone or your computer. Uh, if it doesn't, again, I guess you have to take my word for it. There is a big difference in the image quality between these three tubes. Like I said before, all these tubes came out of the same batch. If you, if these tubes would have been sold to another night vision dealer, all three customers would be paying the same amount of money and would receive very different products. At Custom Night Vision, all these, all three of these tubes are listed on our website and they are priced accordingly. The nicer tubes being more money, the night as nice tubes being more affordable. So again, go check out our website if you don't believe me. All that information is there, all the pictures, all the data sheet information is there for you to review. You can select what you like, put it in your cart, buy it today. As always, we appreciate you watching. Um, get down in the comments, tell me what you think. Start an argument, we love that. Like, share, subscribe, we're really trying to grow our reach here so we can get more of this information out to potential consumers like yourself. Thanks, have a nice day.